Hello everybody and welcome to History Bite number 74, dated October 9th, 2020. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. This History Bite is entitled, No to Legislative Term Limits. I would like to make it plainly clear that I am opposed to any and all forms of term limits on those elected to serve in any legislative body, whether it be a local town, city, or county council, a state legislature, or the U.S. Congress, no to term limits. My opposition comes from three reasons. First and foremost, it violates the democratic principle of voter choice. As long as an individual meets all the qualifications for holding an elected office, then the people should have the right to keep that person in office as long as they wish. That is the choice of the voters, regardless of how good or bad that legislature, that legislator, excuse me, may be performing in office, okay? Regardless of how effective or ineffective they are, that individual should be allowed to stay in office as long as they are not violating the law and they continue to please a majority of their constituents. That is the right of the voters to keep them in office, okay? That's reason number one. Reason number two, it deprives the legislature of institutional memory when you have term limits. You know, all institutions, and most uh, especially large collective ones like legislative bodies, need institutional memory to ensure that the new guys, as it were, are able to catch on and are able to understand things. Rookies it might surprise you, sometimes don't quite grasp things immediately when they first start something. And institutional memory, AKA the old heads, and that's not necessarily senior citizens, but they could be of any age, just simply people who have been around for a while, okay, can guide the rookies. They can tell the rookies, of course, the uh, textbook rules that, you know, guide officially how procedure is to be conducted, but of course, they also keep it real with them and tell them exactly how things are done and what needs to be done to get things done, okay? The old heads provide you with the real deal, all right, in how to get things done. And that is no different for legislative bodies, okay? So with term limits, you kick out all of the institutional memory, you kick out the old heads. And so you're constantly filled with brand new people who haven't got a clue as to what they're doing, and it's likely to produce more chaos and confusion than any positive good, okay? With institutional memory, with the old heads around, they can help out the rookies, show them the ropes, get, make sure they get the hang of the barn, and ensure that things flow smoothly. Everybody needs a teacher at something they have no idea how to do. Okay, and a legislative body is certainly something in which teachers are needed for rookies. Okay, you don't get to a legislative body and immediately know what you're doing. That's impossible. Just as if you've never been uh, taught how to do physics, you cannot approach it immediately knowing how to do it. You have to be taught. That's where the institutional memory comes from, and that's why term limits are a bad idea for that reason. You get rid of that institutional memory, you have a bunch of rookies not having a clue how to do their job, okay? And as soon as you get the hang of the ropes, you're termed out of office, so it's counterproductive, okay? So reason num that's reason number two. Reason number three is that instead of decreasing uh, career legislators, which is what the true intent of term limits is, essentially, it has been shown in states that have rigid term limits, like California and Michigan, to produce more career legislators because once these termed out legislators serve as many years as they can, let's say for example, in the state legislature, they go and run for Congress, well the U.S. House of Representatives or the U.S. Senate, all right? I just wanted to specify, you know, the individual House of Congress, all right? You know, or sometimes they may run for lower offices, all right? Because those offices do not have term limits, okay? so. You know, term limits has not had the effect that many of its uh, proponents, you know, thought it would, as it has not reduced career legislators, as, you know, it has in fact produced the opposite. It has produced more career legislators because these people are not ready to leave office. And instead of 
you know, once their terms are up, you know, them going back to being a full-time lawyer or a programmer for Apple or, you know, whatever they did before they were elected to legislative office, they just run for higher office. They run for the U.S. Congress, all right? You know, they might run for mayor of a city, okay? It doesn't make a difference. The point is, they continue to serve in public office. They just run uh, for an office that's not term limited, okay? So those are my three primary reasons. I'll uh, run through them once more. First and foremost, you know, legislators are servants of the people, and thus the people who choose them have the right to keep them in office as long as they want to, as long as those individuals are not violating the law, and regardless of how effective or ineffective they are, okay, people have the right to keep them in office as long as they want. Bottom line. Uh, reason number two, you need the institutional memory of seasoned legislators to guide the rookies, to show them how things are done, to show them how exactly to be an effective legislator. Okay, of course, that's debatable on whether they are truly effective, but at least they get to show the rookies how procedure is conducted, both officially and unofficially. Bottom line, you need a teacher and the old heads, aka that institutional memory, helps the rookies and turns them into effective legislators, hopefully. And reason number three, it, you know, it does not stop career legislators, all right? Once the termed out legislators reach the end of their term, they just run for higher office, okay? So term limits have not, okay, produced the results that its advocates want, okay? And that primary goal was to end career legislators. That has not happened, which is why all these three reasons uh, are why I do not support legislative term limits in any way, shape, or form. You may agree with me, you may disagree with me. I understand, let's talk about it. If you have any questions, controversies, leave them down below, and I'll be happy to engage you in discussion. Take care, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you at the next one. Peace.